What's up, people? It's your boy Spaces, and today we're taking a look at PanFlow, a brand new free plugin from Audio Modern. Let's dive in, let's take a look at it. Now, before we get started, make sure that you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share, make sure you comment, all the maintenance that we have to do for this channel. So let's take a look at Pan Flow. Pan Flow, this thing is beautiful. I love the color scheme on it. Now, Pan Flow is created to be a creative panning modular. Now, the whole idea is to uh, design shape complex, evolving panning patterns, and add random rhythmic moving. So this thing is created to give you this panning style back and forth, and you can create different rhythms with it, different things like that. So as we look at it, you'll see all of these different things that you can take a look from here. As you can see at the very top, you have your default, you have your timing, you can sync to the time that you're already here, you have uh, the timing that you already have, you have the MIDI out, you have all these different things up top. And of course you see the pan flow within the same scheme that the, all the other ones are and the look is amazing. If you've used anything from Audio Modern, you already know how all of these things kind of work in a sense so the first thing we're going to look at here of course you have your speed you can create your speed timing here this is all about the rhythm of the area here this is the 1 16th and so this is your timing scale right here you have your simple you have your mid grade and then you have your complex patterns that you can create now of course the button in the middle you already know how it randomizes so if we click simple we click that it give us a simple pattern if we click the middle um, um, medium it gives us a medium pattern and if we do the complex it will give us a complex pattern now as you can see right now it's doing this in squares and that's what I have chosen but you can always come down here and change that to uh, round you have your squares like that and then you have your wave kind of look here now the next thing I want you to see is here you have your different setups that you can use you have your complex with your sharp edges here you have the round if you do that you have complex with round and the same as the square so depending on how you have this over here selected will kind of determine what this creates down here now also you see here that you can snap to the grid if I take this and bring it over it's going to snap to the grid if I turn this off then I can uh, move it however I want to move this within the grid here now you can also come here and lock different sections of this that will not move and once you lock you can uh change this and they will always stay in that same spot they will not move that's a cool idea this right here goes in and you can basically reset the things that you have locked now you also have over here you have a bypass this bypass here if you click it it will just bypass it or you can click here and hold and it will bypass until you let go of the bypass now this is the infinity button of course you know what infinity button does if you've done anything with audio modern it just goes crazy so if i play something it will just loop itself every bar it will change this pattern here um, and once I play something you'll kind of get an idea of what we're looking at now what this whole thing is I mean just the audio the uh, panning itself is just set to give your audio more lively dynamic feel so that's the whole idea of this whole thing is just to give a different feel to what you already have going in your music and you kind of get an idea of that once I start playing some sounds in this thing here 
But before we do that, I want to show you this. This right here, you have your, the more you slide this to the right, the smoother it will play. That is for the smoothness of the actual uh, pan that you will get here. You also have your threshold. With this threshold, if I bring this down to here, the panning will not happen until it's above this threshold. Anything below the threshold will not pan. It will only do what's above it. Uh, so you have the area here this right here will size this down to the areas that you want to loop this is so this is just a loop area here if you want it to take here this is your range you can take this and slide it up and down as you can see it will slide your range of your pan so your panning will happen within this particular range now if I come down here and I click this little button here now it is going to just move the whole thing versus keeping you in that range it's going to take wherever you are and it's just going to take it all up or down whichever way you want to do it you can take that off and it will allow you to go back to the range now if I stretch this out again you will see now it's taking the full spectrum of this uh, grid here. Now, you can also come down here, you can add, you can take this as a preset. As you can see right here, this comes in as preset one. Uh, if you wanted to uh, change that, you can. If I wanted to go to another one here and change this to preset two, you'll notice that it's here. This is one, I mean, you have a uh, one and two here, right? Now, if I wanted to X out of that, maybe I just wanted to go back, recall one here, recall two here. I can do that, or I can go in here and load it also. And I can just come here and rename it. And name it spaces one, as you can see there. So if I want to dial that in, I can just double click on that, load it in just like that. Now, if I wanted to take this and Throw it out of sync I can all I have to do is unsync it here and drag it up or down and it will change the actual sync uh, the uh, synchronization that it has here you can always go back and forth with different things this is your MIDI out you can create different um, channels that you want to set this up with if you have a MIDI pad and you want to control it with your pads from one all the way through However many you have set up, you can do that here also. Um, I can also come here. You can, can uh, click the control and activate for the MIDI. You can have this set. You can set this up where you can learn whatever MIDI that you have here. Um, you have your settings that will allow you to set up, you know, set different uh, settings of this up if you want. Thresholds and all the uh, good stuff you can do there. You have this right here that makes it uh, smaller or bigger, or you can either drag it here and do the same thing. So, now, just so you know that pan flow is actually free right now. You can go to audiomodern.com and download pan flow for free. It is a free VST, free plugin that you can use for all of the sounds that you can come up with. It's just an effect. You can put it on anything and use it anywhere. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoy Audio Modern's pan flow and create your music with panning. It's crazy. And until next time, man, peace out.